Hey, just poorly doing anecdote time here. <laughs> so we're um we're playing Pendragon. Pendragon. So <laughs> I'm one of my friends. Hi. He's got a character, and he didn't. He decided he wanted to be kind of combative. So he didn't really put money into. Um, he didn't really put um, skill points into romance and courtly kind of skills. But, oh, you know, you get lots of stuff for wooing fair maidens, particularly rich ones. So he finds, oh, there's one fair maiden in the court, and she is both wealthy and beautiful. Ooh, um, Boku Bucks and Major Kudos, if you um, get her. <sighs> how do we know how? Well, he goes into the courtly love thing, and he gets a, um, a task from his fair maid, which is she, he must sing the song of praise to her um, at the high court at Camelot um, during their major um, celebrations. Right, right, so he hatches the schemes. I will find um, a minstrel. And what I'm going to do is uh, uh, describe like the courts as well. There's this big open hall, but there's like a second layer. It's got a balcony all the way around it with tapestries and everything there. So, right, but people are down in the hall mostly, yeah? Right, right, right. So, the minstrel, we're going to hide him behind a tapestry and he'll be playing. I will be standing there kind of around, right, right in front of him. So it sounds like the sound's coming from the right place. And I'll just be, la, la, I'll just be mouthing it and pretending to strum my lute. Okay, well, you find a you find a minstrel. He's a bit down on this. Oh no, I'll pay money. All right. Okay, right. So, make a roll and let's see how this goes. And of course, it's a catastrophic failure of a roll. So, so, okay, so you are up there. The whole court's watching. Ah, the Queen Guinevere. Oh, the King Lancelot. Everybody who counts in the entire universe is up there. You start miming away while you can behind you. La 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 la. Playing away and. You're swinging your lute and yeah, it catches on the tapestry and flicks it open and everyone sees the minstrel behind you and it takes you a little while to notice. La 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 and this guy's playing. So you are, you're an absolute mockery unto the court. Uh, hilarity, they're just absolutely deriding you. Right, so he decides it's kind of, <laughs> it's the minstrel's fault. But if he'd been better, none of this would have happened. So I'd said earlier, Camelot, <laughs> taken it kind of from the musical a bit. Uh, oh, there's nothing nasty in Camelot. So all, all of the jakes are emptied out into the honey bar. Jabaj turns up and, <laughs> and takes everything from the toilet system. And this barge then goes down the river and um, they just dispose of it elsewhere. So, right. So <laughs> he lies in wait for the minstrel and <laughs> clocks him on the head and knocks him unconscious. So, right. I'm going to bury him up to his neck on the honey barge. And then I'm going to cut the ropes and let him drift off down the river. <laughs> That'll learn him. All right, so just did some random rolls here. How far does this guy go? Uh, far. He goes out at the end of the river and this thing goes to sea. All right, well then, does it get overturned or does it get there somewhere safely? Just random roll. Oh, it gets somewhere safely. All right, how far does it go? Far. How far, far? Really apocalyptically far. So, all right, so this barge goes to like Mexico or <laughs> Nigeria or somewhere. So, all right, right, right. I'm just going to do a random roll. Does the guy survive his adventures? Like, yes. How long does it take him to get back? Because the one thing on his mind is revenge for the guy that sort of sent him on a one-way barge trip to, <laughs> to, you know, Aztec, Mexico. Yeah. And so this guy, <laughs> it takes him seven years. But while he's out there, he learns incredible demonic powers. So uh, yes, seven years later, the, <laughs> this guy erupts into this guy's life <laughs> to destroy. But what, actually, what I quite liked is that character, meanwhile, they'd made a ton of money. And <laughs> he decided he was famous for his ego, because you get these different, so the vanity was the thing he was famous for. Everyone gets a ton of money, so they decide they're going to build castles, they're going to buy lands, they're going to do this. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm hiring 3,000 stonemasons. And there was a mountain that overlooked like the main plains that Camelot was on. <laughs> So he hires his people to sculpt the face of the mountain into his face so that he would eternally be like gazing out over the court. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, an interesting guy, great game. Cheers.